welcome back to Kirby 64, the Crystal Shards, with me, Matthew Caddis, a.k.a. Puggy. So, we are going into the ruins today, and, um, this is actually quite a long level. Yes, it is, and, um, yeah. Also, because this is actually from my original recordings, I actually start this level with the Spark ability. So, yeah. Spark works just the same as it does in other Kirby games. As for Double Spark, the effect is greatly enhanced, but the downside is um, Kirby does have a kind of cooling off period. Not a long one, but enough to be noticeable, I guess. So yeah, and the music is actually pretty good in this level, um, if a tad repetitive, but yeah. Um, it does fit the ruins and everything. Um, also with Double Spark, it does actually target nearby enemies. I don't know if it's more than one, but we shall see. Okay, no, it doesn't seem to do so. And it also seemingly uh, does a lightning strike on enemies above. Similar to, um, dare I say, Needle and Spark. So, that being said, let's go on here. And Scarfies. And they're every bit as demonic, perhaps more so than usual. Uh, seriously, they have a kind of boo sort of thing with them now because they appear happy when you face them and, and demonic when you run away from them. So yeah, up here we have some Rockies. Uh, also, fire and um, stone is very, it's actually a very nice combination as well. It turns Kirby into a miniature volcano shooting rocks into the air. And you can shoot them left and right as well. So yeah. Let's see, a bunch of rockies here. No, I don't want Stone Golem Kirby, thank you. Um, no, I do not. Be careful, I do lose a lot of lives. I'm kind of like down to one life in this game, seriously. It kind of does the one life onwards, so you can, even though it says zero, zero, um, you still have like, you know, one life left, etc. Um, as for checkpoints in these stages, um, each of them happen within a new area. That's basically how it works. So yeah, um, what else can I say about that? So that being said, let's go over here and ignore the Scarfy. I'll wait until it gets close before doing that. You can still match the B button and uh, get that. Okay, so what's this one? Okay. Oh, a stone and spark! This is the ability that you would need to get the first uh, crystal, no, the third crystal shard in the first level on Rockstar. But um, it, it, it gives Kirby a huge electric mace you can throw around. And it, and it does it but very much like crazy here, seriously. Uh, but yeah. Um, let's go down here. Um, yeah, I'm... I don't know. Uh, so... Let's go over here and... Ouch. That hurt. That very much hurt. Let's get through here and ignore the uh, Rockies. No, I do not. As I said, I do not want Golem Kirby here, so yeah. The next area is where we will run into some large stone pillars and some very annoying enemies as well. These giant eyeballs, which honestly, I do not like. Seriously, they follow you all over the place. Not a fan. Um, over there, we have a, um, the first crystal shard in between those two pillars. As for getting it, I don't know, man. I don't know. So let's get up here and... Oh, Kirby's getting running out of... Uh, thing there. Oh, another one up. As I say, I will lose a lot of them in this stage. Seriously, I will. Okay, so uh, down here we have more spear guys. And no, I did not mean to die there. But apparently, I guy is seemingly wanting to be a drone. Yeah, and this was back in 2000. I mean, well, the game had drones in back in, well, early 2000 anyway. Um, maybe 1999, probably a escape, but, uh, yeah. And those spear guys, yeah, you can't get needle from them unless you inhale them. Trying to get double needle is a chore because they have a shield, seriously. So, indeed, let's head down here, uh, through the thing, past the eye guys. Yeah, I'm gonna call them that, and actually the way to get the, 
uh, Crystal Shard is just by going down here. Nothing too hard at all, actually. That's one of the easier ones to find in the game. Okay, so inhale you, and uh, let's see. What can I get, actually, uh, from this? Aside from uh, getting hit by a, a stupid drone, seriously, bad enough that I um, um, do that, seriously. Okay, get that, and we get Swiss Army Kirby. Okay, let's get up here and get the uh, thing there. And then get the hell out of there, seriously. And we can see down there something sparkling. That over there is the next crystal shard. And I purposely killed myself there, because it was so low on health and everything. No point in doing that, so there we go. All you need to do is make sure Kirby doesn't fall down because of him losing his um, puffiness. Yeah, we'll go with that puffiness. That makes sense to me. So I am actually going to do a restore point here because I didn't purposely die there. So inhale, no one, because I'm an idiot. Okay, and they're tossing fireballs. Of course they are. That is the way it goes for um, platformers, seriously. There's another one up off to the left there. Um, as for the fires, I'm not sure. You can't inhale these guys. They don't give you fire or anything. So yeah, the Max and Tomato over there. I don't really need it because I'm, I only lost one unit of health so far. That will change, of course. That will change. So over here. Uh, yeah, if you try and inhale the Brontoberts, what will happen is that Kirby will just take and uh, uh, inhale the, the Star Blocks as well. Um, an, an interesting thing about the fish in Kirby 64. Uh, they can actually give Kirby a bit of a boost in the water. But only in the water. And yes, crush damage is a thing as well. Seriously. Um, so yeah, I will actually create a restore point here. Again, I'm, because I'm so crap at this game. Seriously. Keep in mind, this is con not controlled with the analog stick on the Joy-Cons. It is actually controlled with those, um, well, directional buttons, literally. So they look like regular buttons, something that... Given that I'm a guy who started gaming in like the... There was a... As a uh, let me think. Um, in Maybe in the early 90s actually, playing on the NES. Uh, so yeah. Uh, even though the whole uh, epilepsy thing was a thing back in the early 90s. But yeah. Uh, so I've not played a game like this. I'm used to, uh, as I say, analog controllers now. I've been... We really acquainted myself with both the PlayStation, or the PS1, should I say, to be specific, and the um, and the N64, really both of which had uh, uh, well, um, there's the analog controls for the N64, but from the get go, um, I think with the um, PS1, it was kind of uh, after Crash 2 was released in 1997, so yeah. But enough about that, I'm playing Kirby. Uh, so, yeah, I don't want Fire and Spark. For reasons we may see a bit later in the game, I'm not going to go over it now. Fire Dragons are the worst in Kirby 64, seriously. Um, because they can stop you from getting uh, double fire. Um, how it works is that because their fire breath will cancel Kirby throwing the thing at them and everything. That is most definitely a thing here in the game. Uh, shots are coming out as well. So yeah, so much so I actually had to have a pause break here. Seriously, I was so stressed by this. And this is like the only, only the second level in the game. Waiting until the fire dragon stopped, and there we go. Double fire is easily one of my favorite abilities in the game, or it would be if I hadn't died there. Seriously, um, Kirby darts forward and is nigh on unstoppable for. A good number of seconds, actually. Seriously. So let's go through here. Um, impale these guys. And, um, yeah, I, I don't mind doing that. In fact, you can carry the spark enemy on his back. Um, though I don't know if I want to go on here. Yeah. In having not 
having not having spark and fire, that's a blessing, I think. Although I did get it there. Basically, with spark and fire, Kirby uses static electricity and turns into a well, human fireball. Seriously, his head is on fire. Seriously. Kind of like with Dexter in Dexter's laboratory. And now for this whole segment, we are able to control King DDD. So yeah, we even get to play with his uh, hammer. Very nice. And indeed, Kurt, um, King DDD actually has a wind-up move as well, which I don't know if I show off here or not, but yeah, is there. There's also Maxim Tomato down here. Very nice. Uh, so let's go up here, jump off, and uh, yeah. Um, and yes, King DDD's hammer is necessary to, uh, or needed even, to um, get through here. Including, uh, you can see there, the Crystal Shard, the third one, I believe. Unless there's a boss. There might, there might actually be a boss in this, uh, in this level. I don't know. But let's see. Uh, so, to get the Crystal Shard, I want to go up here. Uh, get up the thing and definitely smash through. And then... It's just a matter of making my way to the right here. Apparently, DDD can um, push, pull himself up. Well, he's quite a strong guy. I think you, judging from here, at least. And um, also in Smash Brothers, of course. Um, so, yeah. He doesn't have the upward move, though, he has in Smash Brothers. But that's a given. He only came in in, like, Brawl. So, that's fair. And there we go. And then I'm going to head to the right, and why not get up there, and then we have a couple of these guys. Nothing too hard, and nope, don't want you, don't want you. So let's go up here, and let's see, I'll go to the right and smash through the block, and, th and at the very end, actually no, um, we don't get to see DDD throw Kirby away. That's what usually happens with the uh, Kirby, but... Not here, it seems. He just carries him towards the end of the level. And I just wanted to get a one-up, so yeah, this took multiple tries. Thanks to the uh, Switch's um, restore feature. Anyway, I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye!